So now that you know what the platonic solids are, we are going to make a tetrahedron. We're going to need four triangles to make a model for the tetrahedron. And we're going to need six fastener pieces or connector pieces. We're going to make those out of the strips that you took after the testing period today. And we're going to choose two colors, one for the outside of your tetrahedron and one for the kind of under layer. Okay. The tetrahedron has three equilateral triangular faces. The tetrahedron has four equilateral triangular faces. And this Snapology model kind of gives us the interior space for a tetrahedron. So it's not going to build a literal platonic solid, but it will build a structure that represents the platonic solid where the faces are the planes of those vertices you see. For example, this one is sitting on. So go ahead and take one strip of each of your colors and we'll make the four triangular pieces and the six connector pieces that'll make your tetrahedron. For the triangular pieces, we need strips that are one by six, have measures of one by six. So we're gonna make those first. The ratio of those pieces will have um, a length of six times the width, and the length of the connector pieces will have a ratio of one to four. And we're gonna use the width of one of the strips as just a kind of a simple measuring tool. So the color you want for the outside of your figure is what you'll make the connector pieces out of. And that color that's peeking through is what you'll make your triangles out of. So we're gonna start by making the the one by six or the triangular pieces. And we're just gonna fold really accurately one strip around the other strip um, six times. And each time we fold, we'll, we'll accurately line up the edges. And when you have six, that was only five. When you have six folds, just cut off the leftover. And when you open that up, count that there are six boxes in a row. And then fold it back into a double layer triangle. Um, and we wanna fold it the same way we folded it over the paper so that it fits uh, nice and tight together. Pinch those edges and set that triangle aside. We're gonna need three more to make the tetrahedron. So go ahead and stop this tape, make three more just like that, so that you have a total of four triangular structures that will make the tetrahedron model. And start the tape when you have four more, and we'll make the connector pieces together. So a total of four triangles now. Let's go ahead and make the connector pieces out of the other color. So I'm going to wrap the pink around the green this time. And I'm going to need six of those and I need them four units long and remember that one unit is simply the width of one of the strips. We're going to be really accurate and we're going to make perpendicular folds, a perpendicular placement, one strip around the other. Place it once and fold three times until you have a one by four strip. Remove that and make sure it's four boxes in a row. We're gonna use that kind of like a paper clip, literally 
a clip made of paper. So we just fold those in half, set them aside. We need six connectors all together. So stop the tape, make five more. Turn the tape back on and we'll put the tetrahedron together So these pink connector pieces are going to hold these green triangles together. So I've got two triangles just kind of placed together edge to edge. And I'm going to put my connector pieces just right through. And I'm literally going to connect them. I'm going to put the two flap ends together just to keep the flaps from moving around anymore. One end of the connector goes through one triangle, the other end goes through the other, and push it all the way through. Nice and secure. And then we fold these tabs back over the triangles. And take your glue stick and go ahead and secure those. And we'll add another tetrahedron, or another triangle, that is. Uh, and that'll get us uh, just a little bit closer to the tetrahedron. See this 60 degree angle right here? We're just going to fit a new triangle right in there the same way, using the same connector fasteners. Go back to the edge that you put the, two, the first two triangles together, because we want all our edges to be on the inside of the model, the interior. So again, I pick up a paper fastener and I put both tabs through, one in each triangle, fold them over, and connect them with a little bit of glue. Remember, we want those connected edges inside. The more accurate you are with cutting your strips, the neater your final paper sculpture will look. And notice that along this next edge, your triangles, it's clear where the next connection is. Use your paper connector. And I'm going to open the two triangles up this time. They don't go together quite as easily now that we have are getting the third in the build. So sometimes you just have to um, open them up and put them through one at a time. Once they're through, fold the tabs over. Use your glue stick. Now look at the bottom. We've got um, a kind of a 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree equilateral space where we will put the last triangle and our tetrahedron will be done. So each of these edges now, yep, needs a connector. And we'll just do one at a time. Exactly the same way. Remember that all the folded edges of the connectors all go at the same kind of joint so that they're on the inside so that the tetrahedron will kind of open up. So we have one edge of the last triangle connected. We just have to finish two more. Same thing. Paper fastener. I'm going to thread it through this one end and go right straight through the other triangle that needs connecting. Fold the tabs over. And glue those two tabs down. And now I just have one more connector to assemble. And I think
think I'll do it the same way. Through one end and out the other. Fold the two tabs over and connect them. So that is the first structure we're going to build together that represents the tetrahedron, which is created from four congruent polygons, which are equilateral triangles. And now you're ready to make more and more complex structures during the workshop.